All right, off we go. What are you guys talking about? What do you mean a mask? Where's a mask? Oh my days. It's the little mad lad. Oh, a surgical mask. Okay. Hey, Dizzy. You keeping well? The butt mock was a... Yeah, yeah, never mind me. You two are taking too long. So I went to fetch the others. The others? What? V what? What? Are you okay? I just... I can't believe you're alive. I saw you fall into the river and... And... I'm happy to see you too, Siobhan. Savan, and you too, and you, Gwen. This is pretty incredible. You were just hanging around Vinium for a full season? Aye. He was farming mushrooms, if you can believe that. Oh yeah, Gwen, let's show Verm that. And the other thing. Already? Yeah, right now. It can't wait anymore. Okay, but we're getting soaked to the bone out here. Is there somewhere private we can go? House. Please ignore my poster on the wall. Is this your house? It's a long story. It's nicely decorated. You've added a personal touch. Thanks for noticing. So, what's this thing you wanted to show me? Ta-da! This is my sword? I didn't think I'd ever see it again. Yeah, it's supposed to the Must Wolf. <laughs> Don't worry, if Seth pins you to the Must Wolf poster, it means they like you. All credit goes to Sivan for the top notch restoration work. The blade should be as hard and sharp as it ever was. I, oil I oiled it and adjusted the screws, too. But, sorry about the color. We didn't have any red paint, so we had to make do with lime wash. No, no, I like the new color. I don't. It reminds me of someone. Gwen, give Verm the other thing. Right. Could you give us some privacy for a sec? It, green, green is not my favorite color, okay? <laughs> it's not my favorite color. I liked the red. I also would have enjoyed a blue <laughs> or maybe a purple, possibly a black. Yellow would have been gross. Orange would have been also gross. Oh my gosh, did they make me a dildo? I made you something. Well, with Siobhan's help, they're the techie after all. A tail? Right. Made of steel. They made me a tail. I mean... It goes close to the butt. I won't push you, push you to try it on, Verm. Many disabled rodents feel more comfortable not wearing a prosthesis. It's not about comfort. I just never gave the idea of wearing a false tail that much thought. All my life I've been struggling. I'm used to it. I feel like I deserve to struggle or something. That I'm better for it. But it's stupid and exhausting. I'm tired of struggling. So yeah, I'll give it a try at least. You know what we call that? Growth. You've grown a lot since I last saw you. You're still a little dude though. Dude, what does that word even mean? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Turn around, I'll put this on. <gasps> That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I really appreciate the way this game is kind of approaching <laughs> a disability. But also, like, a bit of depression and anxiety as well. Like, it, it really has, like, a good mental health focus to it. How's the fit? Yo! The little barb at the end! <laughs> Pretty snug. Something feels different. 
I'll bet it does. Your balance is completely different now. Be patient. It'll take some time to get used to it. Weeks at least. Verb, verb, verb. Verm learned nimble foot. Or maybe you'll adapt quickly. Gwen, this is a video game. We don't have time to pass the time. Oh, hey, nice tail. The gang is all back together then. What now? The seasons are changing fast. The yellow god is coming to Meridia. Merida. Merida? Let's go and greet him. We all leveled up. Oh, you just reminded me. I need to speak with Plague Master Aquila. They said they'll teach me about Excalibur. Excalibur, as in the legendary sword of Rodentia? I've heard stories, but that's just a myth, no? Well, I suppose I'll find out. If it is real, then we're going to need to have we're going to need it to have any chance of surviving the yellow god. Murda it is then. Right. Let's go. Sorry. Do 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 The yellow god is an exterminator. Yes, it is. Yes. Sorry, I forgot some of you haven't seen it. Uh, yes, the yellow god is an exterminator in a hazmat suit. Oh, we all leveled up. Wait. Oh, Gwen has two. Woo. I Gwen had two. Oh, I can actually put this on. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Should we, should we get high? All aboard. What's the potion looking thing? It's a potion. Uh, some of the held items are consumables. I wonder if there's a Toys R Us in this actual location in London. Or, you know, was. Probably not. That would be silly. I may as well let you slug brains through. You'd only sneak in some other way. Probably. Is the yellow god thing for real? It sounds like a ghost in a must wolf territory. I have doubts. Just saying. Well, I've met wolf. I've met wolves. I've met ghosts and sort of a must wolf. Bree's been campaigning a lot lately. I support the cause, but he should be careful. I thought Bree was a girl. Uh, the guard only tolerates so much, you know. How's your home? Yeah, I'll, okay. All right, I have chocolate for you. 
Here's your chocolate. Wonderful. A moment, if you please. Vi is making a mound of cookie dough into a shape of a paw. While it bakes, he begins preparing a salad. Chopped cucumber, tomatoes, onion, fresh olive oil. Now he's combining the two. He's stuffing the salad into the cookie paw. This is madness. This is illegal. This is the highest of blasphemies. You try to intervene, but Vi pushes you away. His vision cannot be stopped. Voila, the king's paw. You receive the king's paw. Conceptually, the food is incredibly off-putting. When you take a nibble, you are hit with an enticing blend of flavors. Warming dough, smooth, bittersweet chocolate, delectably crunchy salad leaves. This is potentially the greatest, greatest dish ever created. I need someone to make this in real life and tell me if it's actually good, because there's no way it's good. Yes, you know it in your heart of hearts. This is a pinnacle of gourmet cuisine. No meal will ever surpass this food. This food is over. It's done. And with that, our food journey is complete. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for gourmet cuisine, my friend. Um, it's basically a salad stuffed inside a chocolate cookie. Oh, it's a reference. Uh, oh, 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 wait, I saw this recently. I did see this recently. I think I know the, re I know the reference. I hope you gained a great appreciation for gourmet cuisine, my friend. You know what? I think I did. Thanks, chef. Did I actually get it though? There it is. Heals 50, recovers three. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna swap these out. You need more defense, girl. <sighs> if anyone can find that here, you know what? What was the name of it? Here, we're gonna, we're gonna take a real quick pause. Fuck you. I just wanted the post. Here it is. Uh, slight warning, this looks weird. So this is what it's referencing. So t Twitter user, that fraud, crude? I had a dream where there was a food called King's Hand, a hollow hand made of m, &M cookie filled with Greek salad. I could not stop thinking about it. Here is the culmination of a week long effort. This is what, so this is what it's referencing. Um, I don't remember exactly, but I believe the response was it was terrible. The, uh, the, twi the Twitter thread goes into the process of how they made it. Oh, apparently they went on to make another attempt. Anyways, uh, if you would like to do this at home, you can Google this and find it yourself because I'm not telling you how. All right, back to the game, please. 
I mean, it sounds disgusting. But that's why it's in the shape of a hand. I don't think I've ever had a Greek salad. Don't mind me, just taking a break from the youngins. Off. Wait, you already said that. Hey. Is it really okay for us to be wandering around like this? Psh, it's fine. Everyone thinks you're dead for one thing. Ghost by name, ghost by reputation. I guess that's true. I doubt even the palace guards would recognize me. Right, the palace. I better get moving. Plague Master Kila will be waiting for me. Good luck, Siobhan. Aye. Come meet us in the Twister Tales when you're done. Okay. You know, I've never been to Merida before. Is this all there is to it? Dinky houses and sad looking people? Pretty much. Hey, Verm, don't be rude. Show Gwen around. I'm not a tour guide. Besides, I don't even live here. Ah, Firm, so humble. You're practically a local. Just take her to see the city center and go from there. Do it yourself, nerd. Psh, I've got errands to run. I'll meet you in the Twisted Tales in a couple of hours. Go have fun. What was that all about? You don't see what he's trying to do? Oh, sheesh. You're both as thick as mud. Forget it. Come on. Let's go see the city center. Yeah, hey, uh, hey. Oh, Gwen, you're not. You need to come in here with me so you can read this together. Come on. I bet Gwen would read it. Thanks to your patron is, I've saved up enough for uni. Time to become a lore master. I wish you the best. All right, let's finish this quest. You, my apprentice, where have you been? I was busy and Sky Garden's not exactly around the corner. True enough, part of my impotent, impatience, impotence. Time has become my enemy. The guard grows suspicious of my dealings. Did you meet Matilda? Yeah. Wonderful. I can see from here that the fabric's now a beautiful, vibrant red. How does she rate it? A plus. She really laid out on the praise. Excellent. That Connor truly is a master weaver. Here's your paycheck, as promised. Your final task, my apprentice, is to take this fabric to Vinium. A fine seamstress there by the name of Penelope owes me a favor. Ask her to fashion the fabric into whatever garment she sees fit. A seamstress in Vinium, huh? Okay, I'll be back soon. Am I actually allowed to leave? Here, do you want the leg of something? Tin seeds. How many seeds does that give us overall? 34. We need one more seed. Un. Here, the city center. Cool. So who's that? Well, it's Sir Chad. It's Ratless, the rodent who stole electricity from the gods. Oh, you know your mythology. Bits and pieces, only what my brother taught me. Also, I'm pretty sure it was just written on the plaque. I see. Show me something else. Like what? Use your imagination, surprise me. All right, follow me. This is the merchant quarter. You can buy stuff here, like food and clothes. Oh shit. Is that one of those proper fancy murder cafes? Oh my gosh, look at her hair! Yo, she got them blue hair! Hmm. So this is a cappuccino, huh? It's pretty good. Why would you choose a cappuccino? What did you order again? A matcha latte. What is matcha? It looks green. 
Taste green, too. Taste green? Yeah, you know how sweet foods taste blue and sour foods taste red? I have no idea what you're talking about. But I want to try it. Gimme. Fine. Take a sip. Mmm, this is great. It's rich and creamy. Oi, I said a sip. I can't quite taste the color, though. Your tongue must be more sensitive than mine. Ooh la la, an indirect kiss. Heh, <laughs> you weirdo. I love Gwyn so much. Hey, Verm. Do you like boys or girls? I don't know. I never get it much thought. Seriously? Yeah. I spent half of my life focused on killing the yellow god. Didn't have room for lovey-dovey stuff. But even when I had time to think in Vinium, Vinium, I just got fixated on farming mushrooms. What? Is that odd? I don't think so. You've been through a lot. Maybe when this is all over for you... Maybe when this is all over, you can make some time for yourself and discover who you like. I don't know if I'll ever like anyone in that way. Follow your own path, dude. You're good at that. I'm all coffeeed out. Where are we going next? Yo, ace coded. Arrow ace. I mean, it's just coded. They let it. They let it. Oh, oh! I found two seeds. Let's go! I can now buy both the armor and the shield. If I can leave, can I leave? This is the shipping district. See that pipe? There's a labyrinth behind there. That's where me, Bruce, and Sio Sivan, Sivan fought a Kraken. That can't be right. Krakens aren't real. It's spoken rhyme, like a wiggly bard. Ah, I see. This is a prank. Don't pull my leg, dude. It'll come right off. You can accept robot can candidate in the armored stoats, but you draw the line at Kraken poets? Look, I was born in a cage, not under a rock. I know the difference between must wolves and reality. What? No, no, it's nothing. Where should we go next? How about somewhere where we can't smell the under river waters? All right. See that? That's the palace. No shit. I can practically smell the Ambergris? Ambergris? Perfume from here. I bet the inside is nothing but a gold and marble wall to wall. Uh, pretty much. Savan somewhere in there right now with Plague Master. With the Plague Master. And somewhere else in there is the King and Blade Master Leo. Savan told me that you used to look up to Leo. Yeah, when I was a kid I asked my brother to sing to me the Needle Knight song over and over. I thought Leo was the perfect hero. I wanted to be just like him. But then you met him in person and the image of the Shining Knight came crashing down. No, that's not quite right. Leo was everything I expected. More than I expected, really. He's a mouse who absolutely believes in his cause and will fight tooth and claw for it. But what's his cause? Being a sword of the state? For all his pomp and virtue, there's no difference between Leo and the Kachkin of Sky Garden. You might be right. This place, this place sucks. Let's go somewhere else. Somewhere less snobby. What are we in the mood for? We've already heard something catchy. You want to hear a blessing? It's a dangerous road out there. Stay safe, traveler. Pilgrim, the world stretches yonder, full of romance. 
silence and water Full of heartbreak and splendor Go and may no foes surround you Feral titans not have Lost in the wild realms you love. Still may you hear the call of the fire signs. Still may your journey. That was really nice. I like that. All right. Where? This is near where we came in. Yeah. Gutter end. The outskirts of Merida. This is where the normal people live. Normal people. Yeah, you know, as opposed to the landlords and nobles and whatever. Mice and rats just trying to get by. I see. Normal people. Honest people. Well, I wouldn't go that far. What are you two dweebs looking at? Y you're that Saba busting kid, right? Yeah. Didn't you die? That's the word in the tunnels, at least. Yeah, I died. Then I clawed my way out of the underworld. Whoa. Keep walking, unless you're looking for another beating. They seemed nice. Yeah, they're all right. Let's go back to Ratless. I want to see something. Dun, 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 dun. Back at Ratless again. Looking at that rat ass. Now what are you doing? Gwen, what are you doing? Getting a better view. Come on. We'll trap the guard's attention. I was wondering what she was getting a better view of. Maybe you will if you keep that shouting. Come on. Stop me just a Degu downer and jump up here. I'm going to get a, a cutscene. <gasps> Ooh. Noise. Huh. Right. What of you? Yeah. A million rats and mice still living in one place. I've never seen anything like it. If we don't stop the yellow god, they'll all die. I guess so. Kind of feels like we're having to hold up the world like old Ratless here. You seem pretty calm about it. Staying cool under pressure is my, my nature, like your nature. Right. Like how thinking problems through is Savan's nature. Focusing on the positive is Bruce's nature. So what's my nature? Well, you tell me. Hmm. A warrior seems like the obvious one, but a ghost seems like more thematic. A mouse is just humble, and but no idea also seems like something that Vern would say right now. I haven't a clue. No shame in that. I hope you figure out your nature someday, Verm. When this is all over, maybe they'll build statues of us four. Ugh, don't say that. Solid gold, just like the dead dukes. Definitely don't say that. Ha, <laughs> I'm just messing like. Let's just focus on the path in front of us. It'll be quite a challenge to fight a god, but maybe Excalibur will give us the upper paw. Yeah, a weapon that can kill a god.
Woo. Let's save. You've returned. Do you, did you have a good break? Yeah, I was just, just seeing my pals, you know, my mates. You mean the treasonous rebels over in Sky Garden? Uh, relax. I don't care about that. There's a much more pressing matter. Oh? Inheriting the title of Plague Master. Have you given it any thought? Will you take off the mantle after I die? I will. Very good. I'll take you to Excalibur. Now? There's no better time. Secret door. Oh. What do y'all think Excalibur is? Oh, we're in an elevator. <laughs> Every time. Where are we now? This isn't rodent architecture. Our, and we're moving. Oh, I see. This is a godly lift, isn't it? Correct. Recently constructed, too. It keeps going up and up. Where does it go? Tell me, Savan, what do you know about the Thunder Age? Oh, uh... It was a time of catastrophe that Rodentia endured nearly a century ago. Fire eggs rained from the sky, destroying everything where they landed. The gods took shelter underground. God and Rodent huddled side by side as the sky fell. You know your history. But tell me, Sivan. Oh, they're referring to World War II, the bombing of London. Tell me, uh, Sivan, what are fire eggs? Hmm, I suspect they were weapons, powerful ones, created by gods <laughs> for the use against other gods. Indeed, very astute. And if one were to come across an unhatched fire egg, does this rat have access to a bomb? Plague Master, you're not saying what I think you're saying, are you? Follow me. Uh. It's a statue of a mouse in a lab coat. The plaque reads, The universe is vast, our ignorance, our ignorance, faster still. Dr. Ein, the first Plague Master of Merida. Turns out we're like underneath nuclear launch codes facility. This building is certainly something. Where is Excalibur? Hidden, of course. If a god were to discover it, all our work would be for naught. Honestly, hiding something this big from the gods has been nothing but hassle, especially with their renovations. Hey, uh, the Queen's is it? Uh, I mean, maybe it's Big Ben or whatever the tower is called. Um, but didn't Big Ben undergo renovations a few years back? I wonder if that's referencing that. But I digress. Press the red button, Siobhan. Siobhan. I'll get the name eventually, probably, maybe. Show me the bomb. Oh. My fucking god. Mm. 
Whoa. This is it. Excalibur. The Fire Egg. An authentic relic of the Thunder Age. The Thimble Guard found it buried in the bowels of the Under River some 50 years ago. Plague Masters have been studying it ever since. 50 years of research on one weapon? A rodent's life is short and pathetic. So intergenerational knowledge is crucial if we wish to push the boundary of understanding. It took decades to find and decipher the relevant god texts to reverse engineer the wiring and machinery. Through careful analysis, my predecessors learned every intricacy of the weapon. What it's made of, the damage it can do, how to hatch it. You can hatch the egg. The trigger is a hard impact, a fall from a great height. The only reason it didn't hatch on its final initial fall is due to a technical error. Fascinating stuff. So this cradle mechanism is a catapult. No, a ballista. And the egg is primed to launch through that window. Clock face to be pedantic. But what's down below? The godly halls of parliament. Oh my god. Yes, I know, Ez. Thank you. And below Parliament's floorboards, the streets of Murda. When the Yellow God arrives, intent on destroying the city, we will greet him with fire and thunder. They're gonna bomb the British Parliament. How do we feel about that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> After all, only a god weapon can kill a god. Plague Master, if the stories about the fire egg are true, this won't just hurt the god. It'll devastate Merida. We're gonna... He has plans to evacuate to, uh, Viridium. Thousands of rodents will die. Tens of thousands by my estimation. That's horrible! But... I think I see your reasoning. You see this cruel weapon as the only way, right? An ugly necessity to save a few rodents from complete extermination. Sivan, please. I'm not some knuckle-dragging utilitarian. Uh, oh. Then why? I was born beneath the floorboards of a godly library, so I learned how to read godly writing from a young age. The first book I ever read was a heavy tome entitled... The Anthropocene. The Anthropocene um, describes the era of the Earth. It describes the era or the time in Earth's, Earth's history um, in which humans existed and influenced you know, just the Earth. It's a fascinating topic, actually, and it will always and eventually lead to a discussion on capitalism. We are currently living in the Anthropocene, the time of humans, if you want to call it that. At first, I thought I was reading a speculative text, a science fiction parable, a warning about what could become. But the more I read, the more I came to realize that it documented the horrors of what gods did and what they continue to do. I despise the gods, each and every one of them. They spread, they consume, they destroy. And if they can commodify a part of nature, they will. If they cannot, they kill it. There's not a single place on our planet that the gods haven't colonized it and corrupted. I actually, I took a class on the Anthropocene in college, and this is basically what I learned. So now carcinogens fill our lungs, poison infests our food, plastics course through our blood. By their hand, soon the oceans themselves will boil. The yellow god is not the worst god. No, not by a long shot. But he epitomizes their callous disregard for life, their need to dominate nature without second thought. What is the death of one million mice to a yellow god? An ordinary day of work, a job well done. So you want to kill him? I can understand that. But what about the rodents who live in Merida? What about them? Merida is, rotten, is the rotten capital of a rotten country. We are ruled by a filthy rich idiot of a king, descended from a long line of filthy rich idiots, upheld by a noble class who peddle tabloid lives to protect their palace of blood and bone, all defended by a guard of bullies and sociopaths. 
Who else is there? Oh, yes. Tax dodging merchants, Paul Ball hooligans, plague deniers. Okay, tax dodging merchants. I mean, I guess that's just the rich. Paul Ball hooligans. I don't I don't see the problem there. What are you calling is that, is that a diss at children or just like sports fans? God, sports fans are the worst. They all deserve to die. Plague, deni plague deniers. Uh -huh. <laughs> Back alley louts who murder a child for half a seed. Bigots who spit upon those they deem queer or degenerate. But worst of all, a common class who look at this green and pleasant country's descent, then shrug and say, could be worse. I do not relish the city's destruction, but I cannot see anything worth defending. It's true. This country has a lot of problems. I've had moments where I've just wanted to take my wand and burned everything to the ground. But I don't because there are good rodents too. Rodents who stand up to injustice and fight to make things better like, like Sir Verm. The dead vagabond? I thought he was hellbent on killing the yellow god. Yes, but he wouldn't have trampled on innocent people to do so. You could not be that naive. From what you told me, I can only conclude that your friend was a single-minded brute. Every action he made was in service to his egotistic vengeance quest. He would have seen Rodentia in flames if it gave him a chance to upend nature and satiate his bloodlust. I... I don't think that's true. He wanted to kill the Yellow God. That is true. But he wouldn't do... I mean, he wouldn't have wanted. It doesn't matter. This ideological talk has gotten tiresome. So let us return to the material facts. The yellow god is coming. And only a god weapon can kill a god. So it's just like you say. This cruel thing is an ugly necessity. So I mean, I get... I get Aquila's concerns. Obviously, I mean... <laughs> we all do. If you are in my chat and you don't agree with the woes that he discussed, get out. But truly, I mean, the world is for shit right now. A lot of people are suffering. Everything he said is pretty much on point. How he's going about dealing with it, of course, you know, not the best. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, out. I quit. Find another successor. I won't force you to remain in my service if that is your decision. But think for a moment. Be a scientist. Think rationally. What do you know about rationality? You're so wrapped up in your warped, pathetic view of the world that you can't even hypothe- Oh my gosh. Hypothesize a better future. That's not science. That's a cult of hopelessness. Yo. Siobhan! Siobhan! Pity. But no matter. Cynicism is a defender of the status quo. But you two had fun, right? It was fine. Sure. Firm's a gentle mouse. But I'm just saying, you're the world's worst smash maker, Bruce. Sheesh. Can't blame a guy for trying. Oh, hey, it's Savan. How'd it go? You look a little shaken. Um, well, uh, they wanted to burn down the entire city. So that's the whole story. I think Akila's plan on launching Excalibur no matter what. And when that happens, thousands of rodents will die. Excalibur. I heard the whispers, but I didn't think such a terrible weapon actually existed. And right above our noses, no less. Could it really kill a god? Does it matter? If it's like Savan says, it'll take out the take the city with it. It take out the city with it. Right. This just complicates things. Now we have to worry about both the yellow god and an absurd weapon of mass destruction. Shit, what a doomerous prick this Aquila is. Something doesn't add up. 
If the king knows the yellow god is coming, and he has a banger of solution ready to go, why doesn't he just evacuate the city? Tell everyone to run and hide. That would cause the smallest light loss of life, no? Ha! You're having a laugh. The king doesn't... D the king don't give a flying fox about us common folk. This is an indie game. They can say fuck, right? If we all died to the yellow god, you know what he'd say? Good riddance. Mate, do you mind? This is a private conversation. Sorry. Oi, oi, listen. We're on the same side here. We may not know much about this Excalibur malarkey, but we do know that something must be done about the yellow god. We've been doing our homework. We know the damage. We know the damage coming our way. Yeah, so we're planning a protest. We got hundreds of allies in Gutter End. Hundreds. And we're going to march the palace gates and have a word with his majesty himself. We've got a list of demands, a proper manifesto. What good is this to us? Wait, firm, this could work. To reach Excalibur, we need to go through the palace. We can't just waltz in. We'd be arrested for sure. But if there's a protest, that would distract the guards. It might give us a window of opportunity to reach the weapon and destroy it. Aye. But how do we reach the yellow god from there? You know, rumor is there's a hidden tunnels all over the palace. I bet one of them takes you to where you need to be. Hidden tunnels. Ghosts and muss wolves. It's possible, Sir Verm. I overheard the whispers of passages the royals can use for emergency escapes. Perhaps one goes straight to the godly hall above our heads. Okay, so... Assuming we gain access to the palace, and assuming we destroy Excalibur, and assuming we find a secret tunnel, then it's just the simple matter of killing a god of death. Easy peasy, right, Firm? Diversions and secret passages, kings and gods. This plan is even worse than the one for Sky Garden. Let's do it. Of course, the mad lad's on board. There's still time until the night of 13 chimes. We should make sure we have all our affairs in order before the big battle. An inventory check would be a sensible idea. Aye. And I should probably drop by Sky Garden. See how Anton's doing. Well, we can wait. Go do what you need to do, then come back and speak to me whenever you're ready. Ah, off we go. <laughs> Butt spot. There's a bomb in that tower. Oh, right. Here we are. Grab something here. Here's a fabric that we need to have made into something. Hey, are you Penelope, the clothes lady? Clothes lady? Sorry, what's the right word? Seamsmith? Cloth monger? Those are not words. I'm a creator of bespoke high-end haute, haute couture fashion. Okay, look, this is outside of my area. I'm just going by what Abuzato said. Ah, Abuzato found a new apprentice. Oh, now the full garment comes together. Run and tell that unprofessional slug brain that he must make his orders in person. He told me you owed him a favor. Well, there is some truth to that. For all his brashness, the foolish merchant does reach out to those in need. What did he want? This fabric. It is exquisite. There's no denying that. What does he want to do with it? He said to turn it into clothes. 
What kind of clothes? What style? He didn't say. Well, that's no good. As his apprentice, you can be his mouthpiece. Give me some direction. I don't think that's a good idea. Trust me, it's fine. I can make even the ugliest idea into a beautiful reality. Now, what feeling are we trying to convey with this garment? Strength, elegance, coolness. Strength. Strength is good, right? Good for a warrior, perhaps. Less so for a poet. I think I know what you're after. But it's... Uh, da, 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 da. uh... I think I know what you're after. But it'll take some time. Come back in, oh, 30 minutes or so. What, in, like, real time or, like, in game time? All time is real time. Darling, go take a walk. Grayson, how would you know? Actually, hold on. Let's go check up on uh, on Jeb. I want to see Jeb. Jeb! Hi, Jeb. You're leaving. We're going to miss you, bud. Make sure to drop by sometime, all right? Hi, Jeb. Lizard. Sky Garden. Oh, I forgot to grab the shield. Oh, dang. Oh, well. We're gonna grab the army here. I'm probably not gonna use it, but I wanna see what it's like. Yes, I'll take it. Set of plate armor. And it only increases my defense by two. Well, by nine. better for you mm. negative to five defense we'll keep this all right up we go Ah, you're alive. My Lapa always knew. On that note, I need to have a word with Bruce. Go for it. What's up, babe? It's your flute playing. It's getting a bit... Ah, uh, what is the word? How to say... Bad. What? My playing is as tuneful as ever. I sound like a nightingale in the morning light. Nah, more like a sparrow choking on a cigarette butt. Whoa! Chew! Wow! That's a bit harsh, but, um, it's true. Your high notes have been a bit shrill. Come to think of it, my time here, I've literally never heard you practice. It's like you enjoy having the image of a musician, but you don't want to put in the work to be one. I feel a wee bit attacked here. Hey, it's okay, Lapa. You just need to do a little practicing. Let's get your groove back. Why not go speak to Tim, the trumpeter? He's friendly. He'll be happy to give you lessons. Ugh, fine. I hate to admit it, but you're all right. I'll go find Tim. Tim? 
Tim. Hi, Tim. I recognize you. You're the trombone guy. Bruce was looking for you. I'll go fetch him. It's actually a Baroque trumpet. I see. So you need to freshen up your music skills. And Anton thought I could give you some pointers. Aye, that's right. Let's skip the music theory and go straight into practice. No better way to learn than to swim than leaping in the deep end, right? There are many better ways to learn how to swim. Unless you drown. Ah, uh, well, nonetheless. How about we play Gilded Roy's Melody? You know the one. Yeah, of course. It's a classic. Rad. I'll grade your performance just like a school exam. Haha. -ha. No pressure, then. Nah, it's not so serious. You can always try again. You ready to play? Let's go. So challenging. I'm worried that like on an analog I might like bump it the wrong way. Have we gotten a single down yet? My thumb is like anxiously waiting to go down. There wasn't a single down. Bruce, my man, that was flawless. A plus, no, A plus plus plus, S rank. What, it was good? You serious? You should be teaching me. Have some confidence in, your, confidence in yourself. I don't know, I, I just feel like there's more work to do. Hmm. How about you go rock Hi, out with- Hi, welcome to Chili's. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dusty, thank you for the uh, Prime sub. Appreciate it, hope you enjoy your emotes. How about you go rock out with Violet the Screeching Creature? The punky bat with the guitar? I didn't think our styles of music are a match. Haha, <laughs> yeah. She's got an edge, no doubt about that. You know, after Josh was ousted, she refused to talk to me. Or any of the gray squirrels, actually. And I don't blame her. Josh's regime was messed up. Once I broke out my trumpet, things chilled a bit. It's not like a few notes magically undid all the wrongs or anything. But, like, there's a common language in music. It transcends genre and style. It speaks straight to the heart. Is that too cliche? No, I get it. A common language. Thanks, Tim. I'll go visit Violet then. Alright. Violet? Hey, is Bruce around? Send him in. I want to have a word. Heard you and Mr. Tuba tooting away upstairs. Aye, yeah. Tim, he was helping me practice. I see. I know he worked for the Duke and all, but I think he's a good guy. Hmm. He said music transcends language. I think he's got a point there. Hmm. Helping up? Tim and the others are trying. I can see that. But it's like they want to play music and dance and pretend that everything's hunky-dory. It's never that simple. Clan Grey has got work to do. Still, he's right in that there's something primal about music. Raw emotion and sound form. That's powerful stuff. So on that note, <laughs> you want to jam? Aye, that'd be great. I need to shake this rust off. No shame in a bit of rust. Sometimes you just gotta step away from your instrument for a bit. Clear your head. But sometimes you gotta face the music and smash through whatever barrier's holding your back. Makes sense to me. Cool. So you ready? Let's go. Hmm. There's a down. OK. 
Okay, it wasn't working at first, but I think it's working now. Music sounds a lot better together. Nice. That was metal as hell. You didn't make a single mistake. It's like you made a deal with the demonic flute spirit or something. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Shall we play one more? Nah, no need. You sound like an absolute pro. Actually, you know what? You should go back upstairs and show Anton what you learned. Uh, performance for Anton? Why does it sound so scary? Ha, don't oh, they sweat following it. me, Ma. They following me. You'll be impressed with your improvement. I got no doubt. Oh, hey, Connor. Thank you for the follow. Hey, guess what, babe? I've been practicing. I've got my groove back. Oh ho, show me. On the stage, we'll make a proper concert of it. All right, let's go. Hi all. Welcome to our concert. Thanks for coming out. Boo, you guys suck. Bring out the main act already. Fuck Gwen, I love you. <laughs> Gwen, we are the only act. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> We don't have a set list. Does anyone have requests? Ooh, ooh. Mozart's Blossom Minuet in C major. Raise your bloody claws to the dying sky by pestilent rage. Needle Knight. Y'all have terrible taste in music. I regret asking. How about we play the Rat-Tailed Rover for old time's sake? Oh, I haven't heard that one since, well, since, well, <laughs> it's perfect choice. Let's go, Lapa. Woohoo! There are four ups in that one. I don't know why I counted the ups. Holy shit. Lapa. Oh, did I mess up? No, it was perfect. It was beautiful. With flute skills like that, you can play anything you put your mind to. Level up! Bruce learned Cadenza. Cadenza works a little differently to most battle skills. Its effect varies depending on which notes are played. Experiment in battle. Ooh, that sounds fun. Wait, what's this? Did someone leave something on the stage? Bruce found a sky piccolo. Where did this come from? What a wonderful instrument. Someone must have been amazed by your music and left it as a gift for you, Lapa. Or maybe my heavenly plane summoned it from the heavens. Hmm. Cool. Level up. What do I want to, uh, I really want to get him tipsy. <laughs> I want to get the squirrel drunk. 